What's the beautiful people? This is Mike from iGetswell and I'm back after a long time with another video. I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the Rogue Rapture GDAXE 11000 Wi-Fi 6E gaming router. This router has a long name and a long set of features that it offers at a price tag of $549. And if you call it Lamborghini of routers, it wouldn't be wrong. And I'm going to talk about all the features and what you need to run the Wi-Fi 6E. So make sure to watch this video and give this video a thumbs up. Before we begin the unboxing, I want to say thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. They're also the official partner for the Asus Rogue router, which I'm unboxing today. And they have the security features built into the router. So if you do not have this router, you can still get the Trend Micro security features. You can get the Trend Micro's premium security suite, which offers the ultimate protection for your devices, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS devices, up to 10 devices in total. And you can see on my screen, I'm using the Trend Micro's premium security suite which includes the maximum security for windows and i have my personal information protected from the cyber theft and hackers and to avail 10 percent discount on the premium security suite click the link in the description and use my code mygadgetsworld10 all right guys so now you see the rogue rapture gd axe 11000 router it's a huge packaging for this router i'll talk about how big this router is and how heavy first you have the paperwork you can scan the qr code and download the application on your android or on, on your ios devices and there is some wi-fi helper tips and tricks setup and all which is quite self-explanatory when you have the application and the instruction about the antennas because the antennas are already placed on the router they already attach and there are certain ways that you can move them around if it doesn't move in certain directions so you don't want to put the pressure because it might break your antenna so just make sure to follow the instructions and this router is heavy it is 3.9 pounds heavy router it has the dimensions of in the length and width it is 10.4 inches almost about um, one foot long with the uh, with the antennas that we have and the height of this router is 2.9 inches so almost three inches in the height so that makes it a big giant router and it is priced at $549 for the reason. Now we're going to talk about what else is there. So the glossy interface, uh, the glossy and shine uh, surface it has on the top and it has a vent on the top that we're going to show you how many it has actually because it is really a powerful router. And then we have this box which has some goodies inside for the power adapter and there's a cable that goes in the power adapter so we have that there and also we got the rj45 cable which is the uh, cat 6e cable so we have that handy so if you want to use it for any of the uh, connecting it to the modem you can utilize it i didn't use it because i, I actually needed a long one to connect from my modem to the router but this actually comes with it, so that's good. And then you have the VIP membership and the warranty instructions in case of the failure of the router, you can claim your warranty. And I bought mine from New Egg, and it came uh, when it was in the stock. It was back ordered, so I don't know the availability right now, but this router is in demand. So this is all comes in the box, and you can see all of that placed on my table, and I'm gonna show you the router around next. All right, guys, so on the router, we have the three identical buttons. We have the WPS, Wi-Fi, and the Boost. WPS is used for the Wi-Fi protected setup. So if you press this button and press the button on the device, it will make the Wi-Fi connection. And then you have the Wi-Fi button. It is just to enable or disable the Wi-Fi, and you can only use the um, Ethernet ports. And then we have the Boost button, which you can use it for if you have the device which you want to prioritize. So you select that Boost device and give that device a priority. Then we have some LED lights on the router, which specifically we have for 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and also we have the 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which we're gonna talk about what is that. We have the two USB 3.2 ports on the back of the router, and you will see those windows besides those ports, that's for the thermal management, so exhaust there. We have one 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet port and next to it we have the van port which is in blue color also you can use 2.5 gigahertz as a van port if you have two different internet service providers and you can use them in the binding mode and you can utilize let's say one gbps from comcast and one gbps from uh, at&t or any other services and next to that we have four ethernet ports that you can use and they all are one gbps ports then we have a uh, 
power button at the back and the DC input for the power, which is the adapter provided. And at, there's a reset hole that you can push in and you can see the thermal windows are all over on this router. So exhaust is almost like, you know, uh, everywhere on this top, bottom, and also on the sides. And these are matte finished grills. And then next to it, the black color that we have is in the glossy finish. So it is a good combination of gloss and matte. So the black part that you see on the router is glossy. And the gray part that you see is kind of like chrome metallic finish. That is all in the um, matte side. So it's not really as glossy as you can see on the router. All right, in order to run the Wi-Fi 6E, you actually need the Wi-Fi 6E Wi-Fi card. So I have my PC which supports up to the Wi-Fi 6 standard. So in order to get the testing done, I had to get this from Amazon and I'll put the link in the description for the router and also for the Wi-Fi 6E card, which worked amazing for me. And it is the Wi-Fi 6E card, which can do up to 2.4 Gbps or 2400 Mbps connectivity. So this card it utilizes a new Wi-Fi standard, which is up to the six gigahertz. So you will see the different bands out of this router. One is the 2.4 gigahertz, one is the five gigahertz, and one is six gigahertz. So this is a little confusing. So Wi-Fi six standard, which is the previous standard, it has a frequency of five gigahertz, but this Wi-Fi six E standard has a maximum frequency of 6 gigahertz so you will see a new connectivity if you have this card with you so it will connect to the wi-fi 6 gigahertz and also if you have samsung galaxy s21 ultra that phone also has the wi-fi 6e the most advanced wi-fi card into a cell phone so you can check and you can connect through the wi-fi 6 gigahertz which is the wi-fi 6e standard so you will need this card and it comes with the external antennas. And that's all I have from this video, guys. I'll put the links in the description. Go check them out and also check the uh, Trend Micro. And we'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.